Hello guys everyone again and right now we have really really interesting game is group number four guys again we had already one game in group number four Belarus was facing the France you can check out the game guys it was a really interesting game and right now we have guys of course the before lineup guys you can see the on the screen the standing table how they doing after first tour and it's second game guys and you can see also um how they're gonna be doing and before the all let's check him out guys the lineup podgorica uh, montenegro side podgorica number one nixage number two tachinja number three and Pcherja number four excuse me guys if i'm not pronouncing quite well because i don't know the, how to pronounce the few uh, cities from uh, and players also from montenegro and Moldovian side, Tiraspol number 2, Tigina number 3, Kishinev number 5 and Balti number 6. That's the best lineup from both countries. And let's see guys how they're gonna be doing because it's gonna be massive, massive for both countries because they, the, this is just the chance to achieve uh, and take the 3 points guys. But uh, before all guys I just wanna mention the Montenegro are better team than Moldova and let's see how they're gonna be doing guys because three points uh, needs both countries let's see the Podgorica uh, from uh, Montenegro it's Podgorica number one from Montenegro let's see how Podgorica gonna be doing for Montenegro and Podgorica was like average take from Podgorica as you can see as you can as you can see guys this Moldova and Tiraspol number two. Let's see how Tiraspol gonna be doing, guys. That was a really, really poor take from Tiraspol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, guys. So basically, that means the seven nil, guys. Montenegro just opened up the scoreboard. Seven nil, and I think already made the game, guys, because I don't really think so that. Moldova can come back in this game. Nixic number two guys from Montenegro and let's see how Nixic gonna be doing for Montenegro. And Nixic was a oh, little bit worse than uh, Podgorica but still I think enough to with Moldova. This is Tigina number three and let's see how Tigina gonna be doing for Moldova. And Tigina's take was also really poor. Between them, guys, one, two, three, four. So that means basically Montenegro again won the second round for nil. And overall result, guys, right now we have 11 nil. Montenegro pretty comfortably winning the game. Let's see the Tetinje or Tetiene, I don't know, guys. Montenegro number three. And let's see in the third round how gonna be doing Montenegro. It was not bad take, guys. Uh, let's see the Kishinau number five from Moldova. This is Kishinau number five. Let's see how Kishinau gonna be doing for Moldova. And Kishinau was really, really good, guys. As you can see, both players came on the same line. In that specific time, you know, guys, nil, nil. So no points to Montenegro, no points to uh, Moldova, guys. So. Uh, the result stays 11 nil. Still, Montenegro are winning the game. Let's see the Pcevia or Pcevia, I don't know, Montenegro number four. And let's see the final round how Montenegro gonna be doing. Pcevia was average, as you can see, guys. Not a bad, not a good. That was normal, normal take. And Balti number six from Moldova. And let's see how Balti gonna be doing for Moldova. Balti's take was maybe best, not a best, but maybe a little bit better for, from the perspective from Moldova, but still was not good. One, two, three, four, five. So that means basically the Montenegro took the again. Montenegro won the game and 16 nil. Montenegro just won pretty comfortably this match against the Moldova and took really important three points, guys. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you like the game, guys, hit a like, hit a subscribe. We are going so far, guys. And in the link down below, you can check out the website where you can find out every single details about all, all countries around the world. Thank you guys for watching. And as usual, guys, we will see you in the next games.